Good afternoon, Chris. Nice to meet you. And Today, you? the topic of our interview is the difference between Russian English and British English. Okay. So I'll have some questions for you. Sure. Fire away. Okay. Are there strong differences between English, bookish English, and real spoken English? Um, I wouldn't say there's a huge difference, but yes, there are differences. You know, book English is very correct, very proper, um, and English people, when they're having a normal conversation with their friends, uh, they probably wouldn't speak quite so proper. Yeah, they'll simplify the conversation, simplify the grammar. Okay. I see. So, and what are the tips to lose our Russian accent? Wow. Um, a lot of practice. A lot of practice. Um, listening to maybe old English films, uh, audio books. Can you give an example? Oh, there's many audio books on the market. Okay, um, what films? Something like the old, uh, the original 39 Steps. You know, it's set in London, so they have very proper English. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of modern films you'll have all the different accents from England, so it might be difficult to understand it. Old films, it's proper English. Um, but the only real way is by repetition, practice. Um, and to be honest, working with me. Okay, working with me, spending time with me, hearing how I speak, hearing how I pronounce things, allowing me to correct you without feeling embarrassed or nervous, um, and just talking. You know, the more you talk and the more you converse with me, then it'll take time, it's not going to happen quickly, but hopefully your ear will start to pick up on the differences between how I speak and how a Russian teacher would speak. I see. Working with me. So, and what are the common mistakes you often catch in the teacher's speech? In the teacher's speech? Um, most of it, in general, is pretty good. Um, but I do hear mistakes in you know the past, present, future tenses sometimes get a little mixed up. Um, pronunciation, obviously, uh, and that's no fault of the teachers. You know, and the more I work with uh, the, the language centre here at Relot, I'm beginning to understand that the problem actually stems even further back from university, and the way the teachers are being taught in university is incorrect because they're being taught by Russian teachers. So it's, it's a perpetual problem. It's just repeating itself all the time. And the only way is to work with me. <laughs> That's great. And who will benefit from this course? Anybody, to be honest. Anybody, whether you're a beginner. You know, I had great fun with a beginner's class just a couple of nights ago, um, where they were working on you know, words beginning with a W. And, and the, and there, and weather, and we have a lot of fun, you know, and if you can catch it early on in your uh, educational career of learning English, you know, it's going to benefit you more. If you've been learning English for a long time, like the teachers, you know, um, it's almost like the pronunciation is reinforced in their brain, and they're probably going to find it the hardest to, to change, uh, and to, to learn the correct pronunciation. But anybody will benefit. I see. So what should teachers expect from such teachers' meeting? A lot of fun, I hope. <laughs> Conversation. Um, it's all down to the teachers, to be honest. You know, I, I can make it as engaging and as fun and as interesting as possible, but if the teachers aren't prepared to, to open up and actually talk to me, it's going to be a one-way course. You know, so I need the teachers... The teachers will get out of it what they put into it. Let's, let's say that much. You know, they will take as little from it as they want, or as much. So I have the last question. Mm -hmm. When will be the next meeting? Okay, we're planning to hold the next Teachers' Conversation Club on Saturday the 16th, here in our head office, our Redlot head office. Okay, that's great. So see you there. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I hope to see you too. Bye-bye.